Hey guys, what's going on? It's Daily Tactics here, back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, and I know this isn't Rico's Brigade, and I wanted to apologize for that, uh, but I just woke up feeling not very good. Don't worry, I don't think it's, you know, the virus, but uh, I think I'm about to come down with a little something, and I just wasn't feeling up to making Rico's Brigade, and I didn't think I would be able to make it the best that it could be while under present circumstances so i i do apologize for that but i do have a pretty fun battle for you guys today uh that was you know just kind of thrown together it's not the best battle we've ever done it's pretty simplistic but i think it'll be fun so what we have here is three of these atot troop transports and three atte tanks and they are going to be launching a big assault uh, against the defending battle droids and commando droids on this uh, planet that resembles Yavin 4, although I don't know if there was any actual fighting on Yavin 4 in the Clone Wars, so it could just be a forest planet. Uh, there are two AATs for the defenders here. They're both down in the uh, canyon area. And then there is also two of these uh, anti-tank guns up top being commanded by some simple battle droids. So if the clone troopers can manage to come up here and destroy the defensive positions, then they will claim victory. But if they are defeated, then... They will not claim victory, obviously. <laughs> Either way, guys, it should be pretty fun. If you enjoy the video, be sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what you'd like to see, and I promise next week there will be Rico's Brigade. I owe you guys big time. Thank you for understanding. All right, let's get into it. Hey, guys, just real quick, I wanted to talk about the sponsor for this video, Exter. Exter is a really cool wallet company that I can say is successfully revolutionizing the wallet, something I didn't think could ever be revolutionized. And I'm glad I discovered Exter because my old wallet was getting really grimy and nasty, but now my new wallet uh, is pretty awesome. It's got this really cool feature where if you click a button, all of your cards come out nice and straight so you can see which card is which, and then you just pull out the one you want and push the rest of them back in. Additionally, Exter has this awesome tracker where you put this tiny little card inside your wallet. It takes up basically no space and you can track wherever your wallet's location is with your phone. So if it ever gets stolen or if you lose it like me at a taco shop, you can go ahead and find it whenever. So guys, thank you to Exter for sponsoring this video and thank you for you guys to listening to this ad read. Alrighty then, fellas, we're going to go ahead and press start right now, and all of the vehicles do begin to march forward here, except for this ATTE, okay? Apparently the scripting on that one was like, nah fam, I'm good. I don't really feel like moving forward too much today, I'll just chill here. I, I guess he could be like artillery fire, you know? Chill in the background. Uh, either way, we do have the uh, troops inside of the vehicles. You know, they're they're not chatting. They're just chilling. They're they're contemplating the battle to gum, getting in the right headspace. You know how it is. They do have some Z6 minigun troopers as well as uh, DC-15A and DC-15C troopers uh, because we're using the Clone Wars realistic uh, clone troopers instead of the normal ones from the mod because I thought these guys would be a bit more fun to use today since we have used the standard mod so often in videos and uh, we rarely ever get to use these ones. Either way, the battle is fully underway right now. The defenders are firing out at the clone trooper army right now, and uh, the clone trooper army are taking a lot of flak, but they're returning some good fire as well. Uh, it looks like the front lines of the droid defense are in fact like almost com uh oh Oh no. Oh, we got turtling. We got turtle. Oh, ooh, that one guy. That turret just directly smacked him, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it just fell right on top of him. <laughs> yeah, the, um... The front line of the droids is under some pretty harsh attack right now. Most of them are dead. These guys seem okay because they're sort of in this little pit area where they're surrounded by like a defensive natural wall, which is good for them. The AATs are firing out a little bit, but it seems like they're targeting the infantry more than the um, tanks and things like that, which is not a great strat. I would be going straight for these tanks because these tanks are, of course, the biggest threat to them. But oh well, it seems like all of the ATTE tanks have actually lost their uh, top gunners, which are pretty valuable uh, pieces to these tanks, obviously, because they uh, they control the most powerful gun on the whole thing. But I mean, this one's just straight up dead, so I guess it's better than that one. That one just turtled over and, and gave up, basically. 
Uh, we also have the ground infantry who are leading uh, some pretty good assaults here. They're taking some losses, but they're at least managing to make it through the forest. It's like Nam in here, boys. It's like Nam. <laughs> when the trees start speaking binary, you know you're you're in some big trouble, boys. Big, big trouble. whole lot of the clones are over here just sort of laying through the woods. These are the 5th uh, Battalion, actually. Um... So they have those little blue stripes on their uh, armor and things like that. They look pretty cool. I like it. It's like a, a thinner detailed clone trooper, to be honest. You know, it's not fully marked up with markings and things like that. It's more minimalist, which I think can be kind of cool in its own right. Uh, and of course, they're the CGI version, which just makes them even cooler, to be completely honest. All right. They are uh, pushing forward once again into the woods here, and they're firing away. All right, we do have a little bit of droid resistance still alive on the ground over here. These guys all seem to be dead and dusted. Uh, ooh, a little grenadey poo going out right there. Very nice. And then the uh, the top of this hillside over this way is now getting uh, destroyed by some incoming clone trooper fire. I think those droids got one hit because of the ATTE tanks. Uh, the ATTE tanks do have these powerful four ball turrets in their front, uh, and those things will one shot infantry. So. Uh, it's good to have those things on the uh, clone side right there. There is still one AAT tank left alive that the clones haven't managed to deal with quite yet. And if they don't, uh, the infantry could be in some big trouble. Especially if an AAT just turned around and shot these guys with its main cannon. These guys would all fall almost immediately. That would be a disaster, man. Absolute disaster. Really, really rough way to die. Alright, this guy's just getting right in the face of the camera there. <laughs> Relax, dude. We don't need to see all of you. You can just chill. Oh, yeah. Lots more firing coming out of this AAT. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be targeting the infantry too much. It's actually going for this ATOT a little bit, um, which is very nice because the ATOT is basically scrap metal at this point. It does have two front cannons, but they're very, very weak. They're not very good. Um, and they're big. They're clunky. Uh, it's not a very important vehicle, if we're being completely honest. Uh, for the rest of this battle, so it's okay that the AAT is targeting that thing instead of the infantry. Although these things actually aren't very good vehicles, they um, do pack a lot of armor. Their armor plating on them are, are really good, so those things can last quite a while. Are both of these guns down? No, this one's alive, but it's not firing, so I'm wondering if its main gun got damaged during the battle? Because it should be firing right now, to be completely honest. Yeah, its main gun must have been damaged, so the droid inside is probably pressing on all the keys, trying to get it to launch a, you know, couple of blaster bolts forward, but it's just not possible because it's so heavily damaged or something along those lines. The AT is still chilling, but it doesn't seem to be trying to kill any of these infantrymen, so the infantry are just kind of skirting forward. Uh, the first of the troopers to make it up into the uh, base of the top of the hill there. Oh, wait, it did just fire. What the heck? Okay, apparently this thing can fire. Oh, but now the, the troopers inside of it are dead, so... <laughs> it's useless now. Alright, interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, the clones are leading a bit of an assault up to the top of the hill here. It would be really helpful if their ATTE tanks could get forward and help them in this hill assault, but... The ATTEs are really in a struggle bus right now. Oh yeah, okay, it's like a couple of turtles mating. Not great. Um... <laughs> Uh, and then the infantry is just kind of caught out here on their own uh, without any tank cover uh, to take this hill. And you certainly do need some tank cover to take this hill. Oh, actually, some of the ATOTs over there. No, maybe the ATTEs are shooting these um, droids and commando droids over here on this blockade. So that's good. At least a little bit of fire is coming in to aid the, uh, the infantry troopers. But there's still a lot of battle droids up here uh, that they have to deal with. And the clones, you know, doing an uphill assault like this, it's, it's brutal, man. What is wrong with this AAT? It, it just doesn't target infantry, apparently. So I guess it's not that big of a worry then because it, it's really not doing anything. And no one even seems to care about it, dude. No one even cares. Uh, these guys are making good use of this AAT as some cover there, which is nice. <laughs> A couple of clone troopers up on the top of the hill over here exchanging some fire with the commando droids and battle droids. Uh, they're getting pretty heavily suppressed, so they're not able to do too much. Uh, yep, every time they peek up there, they get blasted by some more fire, so... Uh, there goes him. Oh, no. Oh! Yikes, dude. Yikes, indeed. 
All right. Oh, but he's got some backup here. It's good that the clone troopers are actually splitting up a little bit and uh, spreading out because it makes it so that they can't all get suppressed uh, at once and they might actually be able to get some shots out. Even this kind of spacing over here uh, where they're just a few feet apart is very helpful. And <laughs> they're practicing social distancing, baby. It's all good. Nice social distancing. Um, it looks like some clone troopers did try and make an assault over this little lip, but ended up getting gunned down. So that's a bit brutal right there. Watching your comrades getting destroyed. Oh, the AAT died. Okay. It's not like it really did anything anyway, so <laughs> I'm not going to say it was a huge loss for the battle droids, but heck, it, it is a loss. So there's that. There you go, chiefs. All right. It's time to start squatting up the clone troopers. Uh, it's just a rule that we do towards the ends of videos now, uh, whenever uh, the clones or droids who are attacking sort of stop losing their momentum and speed. We just squat them up. It just makes them work together a little bit better. It makes the battle a little bit more entertaining um, <laughs> because you don't get that annoying little trickle in thing that you get going here. All right, here we go. And yet we're still getting trickle in. One trooper goes up without the rest of his squad. What, what happened to camaraderie here, people? What happened to loyalty? There we go. There we go. A couple more blokes heading up there. All right. Oh, we're getting we're getting some good fire out. I like to see it. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting some some clones swarming the top. They need to get more fire out though. Only a few of them are actually shooting, and it's resulting in the droids being able to sort of outgun them right now. Uh, and the droids are very split up from many different directions, able to fire at them. Oh, there's an ATTE shot right there, so that's good to see that the ATTEs are still at least somewhat in the game here, which is nice. Uh, we also have a little assault going on over here, apparently. Oh, here we go, on the side there, and straight down the middle. The clones are taking some pretty considerable losses right now. I'm seeing a few troopers trying to heal up, uh, which is definitely a good thing if they can... <laughs> You know, keep their keep their health up. They might actually be able to do this. I think the main problem is these troopers off to the side are like basically a, a wall of troopers that have been untouched for the whole battle. These guys over here and over, you know, here they they've all sort of been scrapped. There's a few over here, uh, but the guys on the far left are still doing very very strong. So that is definitely problematic. We do have some ATOTs who managed to break free of the chaos over here and are, are marching on forward. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> maybe they could even, like, skirt up the hill and get some shots off. I mean, any kind of helpful firing could be could be good here. No, don't crash into each other. That would that would just ruin the whole thing. <laughs> okay, they're not going to be helpful, are they? No siree. All right, we got a couple more Clone Legion uh, squads here. All right, this guy's firing out. Um, there's just one trooper over there, one droid. All right, I'll be right back. I need to uh, blow my nose real quick. One sec, guys. All right, sorry about that, fellas. I uh, paused. <laughs> gotta gotta clear the old nasal passages. Uh, it looks like an ATOT turtled over here. Oh no. Oh oh no. Guys, that's not good. It's a not a good. Uh, we got more infantry creeping and crawling up here. Really, they just need to focus on the left right now. There's two commandos right there and then a whole batch of them over there so this this battle is actually coming down by the wire uh i really didn't play test this one too much i thought eh, we'll just wing it it'll be fun uh and it turns out to be a very even battle which is kind of nice honestly sometimes sometimes it's a little refreshing to get a really even battle uh where both sides are you know down to the wire they don't have a ton of troopers left it just makes it a little bit more exciting and you know interesting to see who would actually win this thing uh overall got a couple of troopers coming up on the flank here if they push out a little bit they could help their boys who are struggling a bit more uh, straight down the middle also these guys down at the bottom need to come forward and help out a little bit too the ATOT is like so close to having a shot on the troopers down there but just not quite oh it's a struggle and the ATTEs are coming forward too maybe they'd be able to help out I don't know entirely man it's looking pretty abysmal for the tanks there's so much rocks and the foliage and things like that and and downed other tanks that it's it's really hard to come forward for them and yeah there you go they are tripping over each other and dying more turtling is happening for the ATOTs I think it's really going to be up for the uh, infantry to win this battle and the infantry did take out those troopers over there and now they just need to work on the last remaining battle droids and commando droids in the corner so uh, in all in all, they've they've got like 10 troopers they need to get through. Uh, I think the clones do outnumber the droids by just a little bit right now. You know, any any clone that's lingering behind, I'm going to send forward right now. 
which is just one clone. So I just sent one clone <laughs> forward. <laughs> oh, the ATT is coming to join the party. Coming to join the little twister party. That's fun. What are the clones doing, dude? They're like re adjusting guys some are going that way some are going oh this guy's gonna die yep <laughs> like the little ah that happened oh ATTE is getting a few shots off the ATOT is in the way of it actually hitting though sad and these guys come out here to play a little bit more and they get they get some shots off too they're actually suppressing some of these droids over here so that's a good thing I like to see it. The ATTE could turn the tide if it just gets an angle here on these guys. If it just manages to get an angle, but I think it is really struggling to do so. Straight up, the ATTE, man. It, it could win the battle for the clones. It could do it. I think it's so close to getting an angle, but the ATOT is just in the way. It is just blocking this thing from getting the job done. The infantry is doing a valorant push. Oh, it's getting some shots off. I think it, it got a couple of hits there. Yeah, the tank coming in clutch here, helping out a little bit for once. Yes, good. I like to see it. It's actually getting some shots off. I don't know if it's doing all that much damage. I think it's missing a lot, but at least it's helping. Um, and the infantry is managing to uh, shoot as well. I, I think really the tank is doing some good suppressive fire. It doesn't even matter if it's not hitting the shots. At the very least, it's suppressing the droids so that the clones can come forward. And it's kind of working here too because a lot of the droids are going down uh, as a result of that suppressive fire and, uh, you know, clone infantry fire combination. It's a pretty nice thing here. Oh, and there's a Z6 rotary cannon on the field still. That might be the last Z6 rotary cannon trooper, to be completely honest, that the clone troopers have. So a rare breed, a dying breed, but a very, very helpful breed if you do manage to keep it in the game uh, for long enough. And there's the tank peppering with some more fire again. BEA beautiful boys. I like to see. Very nice. Dude, the ATT is, is honestly coming in clutch right now. I was making fun of it for a while, but like, without it, the clones I don't think would have been able to take out those troopers. There is six battle droids left alive, uh, and about a squad of clone troopers. The clone troopers are backing off again. <sighs> That's the problem, is they get distracted. Oh no. Oh no. Well, there goes that help. So it's really going to be an infantry battle from now on, I think. And there we go, there's a few shots. Come on, infantry, you guys gotta come back. You gotta come back and help. There's just six droids, fellas. Six droids, that's all you gotta get through. But you're struggling. You're struggling so hard. Oh, we got a little bit of an assault over here. That's good, one, one clone dies over that way. Also got a little bit of covering fire from the right over here. If they do spread out, you know, it could be helpful. Another explosion over here as another ATOT -AT bites the dust. And that ATTE is still in a bit of a struggle bus right now. It's tough, man. Oh, this could be the end for the clones. Oh, no, no, no. The ATTE is still managing to get some fire off. That's big. As long as that thing's still firing, it'll be good. But it's it's derping big time, dude. It is a derp fest and a half. All right, should we squad the last of the clones up together? There you go. Oh, wait, there's one back here. Here. Come join your bros. Come join your bros. Alright, now all of the clone troopers are in fact squatted up together. That's good. We got, what, like seven or eight of them? <laughs> Against, yeah, six droids in a static position. Z6 rotary cannon dude's still alive though. This'll be quick. Oh, this is taking forever. <laughs> the fellas, the fellas ain't got this, boys. Oh, here we go. They're attacking again. Ooh, that guy's getting a lot of flack. Oh, he's getting some fire out. Nice. The, the droids just keep getting suppressed at this point, which is great, but the clones aren't finishing them with any kills, so it's not that great. All right, the clones are finally doing a big push over the hill here now. This is it. This is this is the final moments. You can feel it. The droids still suppressed. They'll pop up again, though, and they'll take some flack, and it depends on if they manage to keep the fire going or if they uh, get suppressed again that, you know, whether or not they'll win, I think. I think this will be the big decisive moment right here. 5v probably like 8 or 9 or something like that. Alright, the droids do pop up again. They actually managed to kill a clone trooper right there. And then they pop back down. The ATTE turtling. That thing's gonna be no help anymore. Clones in a bit of a Mexican standoff here with the droids. Not even a Mexican standoff. More of just like a just a standoff that 
<laughs> involves just them staring at droid droids behind a wall. This guy's getting like a cheeky little sneaky shot on the side of this droid. Good fire coming out. He's he's connecting a few shots, but it's gonna take a while to kill him, I think. Oh, and this guy comes out. Oh, that droid did end up dying. Okay. There you go, there's another kill. Beautiful. Clones are winning. Clones are clones are doing it. There actually is a droid lying down right there, that commando. I didn't realize he was still alive. So there's four droids alive and like six or seven clones now? I don't I don't know. <laughs> Alright, should we finish this thing off? I think the clones got it, so. Charge on forward here, boys. Come on. Let's finish these fellas. There you go. There's the grenade. That guy's dead. Now there's three over there. Grenade out. Those droids get up to try and run away, and they get gunned down. Beautiful job. So the clones do manage to acquire a nice little victory there. They only had about seven or eight troopers left alive. Uh, and one ATTE, which is stuck in the back here. Though this one ATTE, -T -T I can't talk. ATTE did end up getting 29 kills and one vehicle kill, so that thing did pull its weight pretty well, which is nice. Uh, and these clones all had a had a kill or two between them, so that's very good. Yeah, everyone sort of pulled their weight in this last squad, which is beautiful. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's gonna be about it for today. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about the low energy level in this one. Um, I just I am um, just drained a little bit right now so hopefully I pick up my energy a little bit more uh, for later videos either way guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed comment down below if you did subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next one peace I hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload thanks so much